Yes. Hi guys, Sierra Chinara Nade here and I welcome you all to the 1 million giveaway mutual fund quiz. Uh, first of all, how you are how are you all doing? Uh, I hope everyone has had a good time today uh, celebrating Rakhi and I hope uh, you did not you know just roam around in the city and you just went for the limited purpose had fun and came back right uh, yes Jameson uh, I agree nowadays I'm not following time this is the second time that I was not exactly on time I agree I won't uh, I won't uh, say that no I'm on time or whatever I agree I was not on time today's session late by four minutes the previous one as well uh, I don't know why there has there have been few technical glitches uh, in the last one or two streams so sorry for that once again right okay so I think without wasting few more few more minutes uh, let us start with the agenda for today uh, there are two basic agendas <coughs> number one is the IT sector uh, which which we had uh, released on Saturday. Uh, we had discussed about how to do analysis if we are talking about uh, IT sector companies. So as usual, first in the first 10 minutes maximum, I would want to quickly discuss uh, the good questions which were asked about this uh, specific video. And after that, we would go, uh, go ahead with the most awaited thing. And what is that? That is a giveaway, right? Shallow. Okay, so let's start with the Q and A. <coughs> okay, let me just open this up. Right. So the first question was on localization. I'm just starting the live stream on my mobile as well so that I get a fair idea about the view that you all are getting. live stream okay right so everyone is getting a proper view so the very first question was asked on localization asked by jana Kir kiraman k and the question is that hi rachna good content and explanation keep going a quick point from my side uh, technically localization has many meanings in it assuming that your explanation is a correct one of the correct ones uh, let us also not ignore the fact that why the outsourcing concept came into picture 20 th 25 to 30 years back it was to avoid paying in dollars to locally available uh, skilled resources also local people will not work more than stipulated hours in a day whereas the outsourcing helped them to reduce the salary cost significantly and uh, it also increased the productivity need to see the impact of this factor in the long run and to my opinion companies started local recruitment because of the local government policy changes and visa issues right so obviously yes uh, localization uh, point came in because uh, there were more and more restrictions which were being put up uh, there the us laws the h1b visa restrictions uh, maybe the it people could foresee that yes this can be a problem so that could be one reason why the IT companies started with this. Second thing is that, uh, as I mentioned in the video, that also it has a lot of other factors that yes, uh, the name of the company will be definitely recognized at a global basis. If you remember, I had told this point in the video itself that uh, if we are talking about a scenario where uh, a guy in US, a US citizen says that, yes, I'm working with Infosys then Infosys name in US definitely gets bigger, right? Or Infosys Persistent or TCS or any other IT company for that matter, right? So definitely there's a chance that the company's name becomes bigger if they're hiring local people out there, right? Uh, would this increase the cost of the company? Answer is obviously yes, okay? Would this also, uh, you know, uh, on the other hand, flip side, would it cut down the travel cost answer is yes so of course it has pros and cons but i try to explain the point from both the views that yes number one to cut down the visa restrictions uh, i mean to counter the visa restrictions number two uh, even to counter the laws the government policies i think the localization step was taken and this seems to be uh, become more and more popular by the day okay so i have also given uh, an answer in detail as well uh, why have i given this answer to you also i'll tell you there were many people who asked me that 
could we get these answers uh, we would love to go through all these answers at our own pace so what am i going to do is that this same uh, pdf i am going to paste it on my telegram channel so after this stream is over if you want to read these answers word to word whenever time permits then you can definitely check out the question answers on the telegram channel right uh, second one is utilization meaning clarification there were people who are asking that uh, is the utilization meaning uh, correct or not so i had given this in my live stream uh, in my video that utilization is uh, something which is uh, how much are the available hours of the employees versus how much time he is actually giving in the organization so let us say a normal employee works uh, has total 8 hours in a day okay and he is working for 7 hours in a day then we say that the utilization percentage will be 7 by 8 into 100 for a specific day i am talking about here okay so uh, there were a few counter questions on that i would just quickly run through these vishnu sarthi says utilization is number of employees working in a project versus number of employees waiting for a project but they also get paid uh, Lokesh says, Hi Rashna, I am a big fan of your videos and your simplistic approach in your analysis. But in this video, the definition of utilization is wrong. It means percentage of billable employees versus total employees. Okay. So, uh, whenever there is a confusion, how we go about it, I will tell you. We read various annual reports. We also try to Google out the meaning of specific terms. Okay. So, I have actually uh, given a screenshot uh, about when we were trying to search about what exactly could be the meaning of utilization. Here we just Google searched uh, utilization in IT companies, very specifically in IT companies meaning. And what does the first Google search say? It says utilization is defined as the amount of an employee's available time that's used for productive, billable work expressed as a percentage. Okay, so the same point which I have given in my lecture. From where did we come across that point? Uh, we came across, I mean, the, the perspective that I have given in the lecture comes from this okay so as i mentioned we have also uh, taken references of various annual reports but this is also what we found as a google search meaning and that's why we have taken this meaning in it sector there may be uh, multiple uh, you know interpretations of this term as well but this is how we have taken it right uh, one more question which was asked was on fy 2021 clarification uh, ananya sahu says 12.06 i'm confused is it a mistake should it be FY19 and FY20 instead of FY20 and FY21, okay? So here I'll tell you how people actually say this, okay? Even in newspapers, be it in newspapers or be it on television shows, whenever they say Q1 FY21 or Q1 FY20 means what, okay? Everyone, please pay attention. This is an important point. FY21 meaning and use of 2020, 2021 respectively means what? Whenever I say financial year 2020, it means that April 19 to 31st March 20 and the same whenever for 2021 that is April 2020 to 31st March 2021. So based on above, we have considered Q1 20 means what? Q1 FY 20 means what? Q1 of FY 19 20. Q1 FY 21 means what? Q1 of FY 20 21. Okay. So I hope you are understanding this so in simple words i'll give you one more uh, example so just just read this one more time whenever i'm saying q1 fy20 means what fy1920 okay whenever i'm saying q1 fy21 means what it is q1 of fy2021 okay so i hope you have understood this properly uh, i think no further explanation is required okay okay many people asked about this where do you get so much information uh, the parameters described by you in your videos are very difficult to obtain by an ordinary person. Hence, to choose a stock based on these parameters, it is not practical at all. Kindly show some other methods to choose the tech stocks, okay? Uh, so, I'll tell you where did I get these from? How to check these parameters in websites like Money Control, Value Research? How to check uh, and where to check? Similar questions. Uh, where to get, where to collect all these data, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so from where did I get it? I got this from various sources. So what I've done is I've just listed all the sources for you. Number one, annual reports of all these entities. Okay. Number two, key fact sheets. There are various fact sheets. Like if you are aware about this, even mutual funds have also fact sheets. So there are many, many fact sheets that you can get. You can get various of press releases that company does. Okay. Uh, next one is uh, also conference calls or other board meetings uh, uh, calls, which are the transcripts. There are various investor presentations. 
so we have taken all these put together and all these put together bit annual reports key fact sheets press releases conference calls investor presentations all put together that is where we have got the entire data from okay so i hope you have understood how do we do analysis it takes a lot of time guys please understand this whenever we have to release uh, any video sometimes we have to take uh, help of google or uh, websites like money control or uh, any other websites okay but major 90% i'll say comes from all these points which i told you right now annual report fact sheets uh, conference call transcripts investor presentations these are our base points for our research okay so i hope everyone is clear with this uh, and as i mentioned if you want to actually have a look at this if you want to read through all these points once again at your time at your leisure time then i'm going to paste this same pdf document in my telegram channel okay so everyone please uh, make a note of this uh, you can just join our telegram channel and get uh, a pdf of this entire document as well okay uh, so with that let's go back to our one minute uh, go back to our main point which is the mutual fund course giveaway i know majority of you are here uh, for this giveaway uh, who is going to be the winner right so let's let's start with this giveaway thing okay uh, i'll just tell you that how exciting this entire process was again i'll switch back to this i'm showing you my screen uh, there could be scenarios where people feel that how did they choose the winner i have not yet chosen the winner for giveaway so let us quickly check how the responses were received how many responses we received how many gave a correct answer so many things to discuss and uh, i'm sure everyone is now really waiting for this that yes am i going to receive the free giveaway or not so again i'm just showing this in front of everyone so that everyone gets a very clear idea i had posted a google sheet and believe it or not i think you can see this on the screen 9201 responses is what we got it was an amazing response so a big 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 thank you to every one of you for giving such an amazing uh, response for the quiz okay so many people gave this response so what we did is uh, we first actually tried to filter this filter this based on what filter this based on how many uh, have given a correct answer because it could it could have happened that people have uh, given a wrong answer and uh, they get uh, you know chosen as a winner i didn't want to do that so uh, what i did was first we first i'll quickly give the answers as well what were the correct answers because many people are asking me what were the correct answers so i'll quickly tell you the correct answers and then i will tell you that out of 9000 plus responses how many people actually gave uh, the correct answer everything i'm going to tell you so let me see live as well i want everyone to answer this which was the type of candlestick pattern that i had showed shown in the quiz yahan pe the correct answer it's a, it's a public poll so majority of them have given a correct answer for this the correct answer was a shooting star so 62% people gave a correct answer always remember when there is a downtrend and at the end of the downtrend there is a shooting star okay then there are great chances that the trend will reverse so shooting star is like a reversal pattern okay so whenever a downtrend we are at the end of the downtrend and we see a shooting star then the uh, then the uh, ulta bol diya kya maine sorry 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 ulta tha apna uh, i guess if you that that is like a hammer shooting star goes in a reverse way let's say there is an uptrend okay there's an uptrend and at the end of the uptrend uptrend you see that pattern which i had shown in the quiz okay then that's a shooting star okay so the correct answer has been given by majority of the people 5700 plus people giving the morning star as a correct answer next one was what is the value of phi which is the golden ratio it's not pi okay it is used in our fibonacci when uh, if you have checked out my technical analysis lecture series while i was teaching fibonacci retracement uh, during that time i had given uh, the explanation for this the phi what is that that's called as a golden ratio and the correct answer is 1.618 90% of the people have uh, given this as a correct answer okay this was uh, given as a wrong answer by many people again what is a triple b rated bond mean okay 
डिफॉल्ट ग्रेड गाइज इज डी ओके डिफॉल्ट इज डी बट मॉडरेट क्रेडिट रिस्क इज अ ट्रिपल बी रेटेड बॉन्ड ओके सो एवरी वन टेक दिस एज अ नोट वेन एवर इट्स अ ट्रिपल बी रेटेड बॉन्ड इट्स लाइक अ मॉडरेट क्रेडिट रिस्क सो सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल हैड गिवन अ करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस नेक्स्ट वन इज विच वॉज द प्राइव फर्स्ट प्राइवेट सेक्टर म्यूचुअल फंड विच वॉज लॉन्च इन इंडिया द वेरी फर्स्ट हैड आई हैड आई रिटर्न विच वॉज द फर्स्ट म्यूचुअल फंड लॉन्च इन इंडिया हैड आई रिमूव द वर्ड प्राइवेट सेक्टर इफ दिस वर्ड वॉज नॉट देर first mutual fund launched in india then correct answer was uti okay but uh, if you if i use the word first private sector mutual fund then the correct answer is kothari pioneer mutual fund and again 67% of the people have given a correct answer next one was short term capital gain tax on debt mutual funds how much is the short term capital gain tax on debt mutual funds uh, answer is that it is as per individual tax slabs it's that is why those who are uh, himesh is saying sabne cheating kiya hai nahi himesh uh, i will tell you uh, how many people gave all correct answers had everyone done cheating everyone would have given uh, correct answers only right uh, stcg uh, for debt mutual fund is as per the individual tax slabs okay uh, 15% was the correct answer but for what for equity not for debt 15% is the correct answer for equity right the logo if you remember the logo which i had shown in uh, the quiz what was that the quiz logo which the logo which i had given in the quiz was of sun the exact answer the exact answer is this one not only sun pharma that's like a short form sun pharmaceutical industries limited that's a full answer sun pharmaceutical industries limited that is a full form of the company uh, which represented that logo right uh, uday says first question ka answer hi galat de diya okay no problem uh with that right uh next one is who is this gentleman and he is the cfo of which company so i had given the image of a gentleman uh he he is mr satya nadella so some people gave only half answer some people wrote only microsoft some people wrote only satya nadella so any permutation combination out of these i have given as a correct answer so uh you know some could be like uh someone might have misspelled uh, or uh might have written m in uh, capital or small doesn't matter so even this is correct like satya nadella dash microsoft has been given correct satya nadella microsoft correct satya nadella comma microsoft correct and microsoft correct but this combination is a correct answer okay next one was uh, har ghar kuch kehta hai is the tagline of which company and the correct answer for this is asian paints okay so even if you just google out asian paints tagline that is the correct answer which you will easily get it. it is har ghar kuch kehta hai right next one is uh, how many investors have picked up a strategic alliance or a strategic stake in reliance geo platforms okay i want answers from you all guys what do you what do you feel how many investors have picked up a strategic stake in reliance geo platform i'm waiting uh, to see how many of you are giving me the correct answer i am checking out the answers to the chat as well Yes, the first first one Nikhil says thirteen, Vikas says thirteen, Shri Niketan four. कहाँ पे हो? Which month? Yes, guys, give me the correct answer. Thirteen, 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 four, two, five. Okay. Yes, many people are saying thirteen, but there are many people who are giving wrong answers as well. So yes, the correct answer is thirteen. Okay. So. this one many people goofed up but the correct answer again i'm mentioning you it is 13 right uh the promoter my god this the chats are going so fast uh next one is the promoter holding in companies to be listed should not be more than what percentage to sebi guidelines okay if we are talking about a uh, maximum percentage uh, which should be held by promoters as per the sebi guidelines correct answer is is and directly tell the answer now it is 75% okay so maximum how much percentage should any promoter hold well there is a criteria within 3 years of listing okay so assume that uh, there is a company whose promoters hold 76% stake in their own company i am repeating please pay attention there are promoters who have 76% stake in their company okay what happens after listing okay from the day of listing within 3 years they have to sell off 1% why because maximum holding that they can have in their company 
after three years of listing is 75 percent okay uh, rahul is asking why why because it's a sepi guideline okay and it is proposed that they are going to take this from 75 percent to 65 percent but as of now they have not revised it to 65 percent as of now it is 75 percent only okay so i hope you have understood this so i wanted to quickly discuss what are the correct answers as well uh, otherwise just giving the giveaway doesn't make sense i'm a teacher so i should tell you what are the correct answers and after telling the correct answers uh, i will uh, give the final result now okay so then what we did was uh, of course you can see here after see you can see directly e because i have hidden the email ids and mobile numbers there could be people who can object why did you show my mobile number on the screen why did you show my email id on the screen so i have hidden those two rows uh, so what we have done is we uh, just gave the correct answers uh, we used the if then formula and then we checked how many people gave a correct answer all 10 out of 10 correct how many of people have given the correct answer uh, okay so oh by the way there are some people who are saying ma'am give sun pharma correct also by the way we have taken this correctly okay so the full name was sun pharmaceutical industries limited but if you can see here sun pharma also we have taken as a correct answer i'm again repeating sun pharma we have taken as a correct answer okay right so let us start with this total count if you can check here is 551 okay total count is 551 so out of all the responses 9200 plus responses okay uh what we have got is for a uh, 551 okay uh so let us see how many people have given the correct answer it is 551 but let us see how many of them are chosen as the winner okay so let's see how the correct answers have. so by the way this is a site named as random name picker okay uh random name picker is the website so i'm just pasting the names here okay after pa pasting all the names so we were just trying to do out uh, ch check out how it is working okay so here i'm pasting start let's see who is the first winner first winner is ashish gupta control c i'm pasting his answer first winner is ashish gupta okay okay wait i guess there is some confusion about strategic investors okay wait 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 um was this only investors or strategic investors have picked up picked up a strategic oh yes yes one minute one minute let me just check this we have taken 13 yes total investors were 13 okay don't worry we will sort it out afterwards and if we see that just because of few uh, answers we will sort it out don't worry guys even if, if you have given it as four uh, we will we will try to do one more session for that don't worry as of now we are taken the total number of investors so we will get back on the strategic part as of now don't worry those who have given this answer let us quickly understand who all are the winners the very first one is ashish gupta clap for him don't worry for the four strategic investors it's okay we will we will try to give uh, one or two more giveaways for that as well okay uh, satya narela ceo correct microsoft yes 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 we have given that okay so as of now don't worry about that 4 or 13 part uh, strategic is 4 agreed so we will we will take a call on that don't worry uh, as of now whatever we have uh, taken it uh, let's let's go ahead with it right so uh, the first winner is as i mentioned ashish gupta uh, ashish congratulations uh, i will definitely me my team will come up with uh, a call and uh, we will let you know Uh, about how to access the course okay uh, so let's move on with the second one now right so for the second one i again say pick up another name and say start
it's Kiran. So, heartiest congratulations, Kiran. You are the second winner for the giveaway. I'll move on with the third one. People are saying that. Okay, okay, perfect. So, let's move ahead. Pick up another name and start. Guys, don't worry. People are still stuck up on four. We will have, I promise, we will have another giveaway for those who have answered four. Don't worry. I will have another give giveaway. That's my promise. Okay, that's my promise. Those who have given four as a correct answer, we will have a separate giveaway for you all. Of course, with a similar fashion. Okay, so don't worry on this. It's my promise. If it's four, then we will have a separate giveaway for you as well. Okay, don't get disappointed at all. Right now, cheer up guys. Those who have given the correct answer, let's give a round of applause for them as well. So, clap for Shruti. Shruti is the third winner. So, I'll just paste her name as well. Let's move on to the next one. We'll pick another name. And the next one is Santosh Kari. Woohoo, Santosh. Heartiest congratulations. Oops. I'll just copy this properly. Santosh Kari. Heartiest congratulations, Santosh. My team will contact you. And you will be eligible for the free mutual fund course. Okay. Let's move on with the next one. Pick up another name and start. Let's see who is the next one. It's Rinav Mukesh Kenya. So Rinav, congratulations. So you have been chosen as the fifth winner. My God, five people uh, have won till now. Let's move on with the next one. And the correct answer is Divya Patil. Divya, congratulations. You have won the free mutual co fund course. So, heartiest congratulations. Okay, Rajat says, what if someone has a duplicate name? Don't worry. Uh, Rajat, uh, we have removed all the duplicates. And we have ensured that uh, if we are just having, let's say, just as an assumption, we have two Divya Patils then the course will be given as a giveaway to both the Divya Patils, okay? So, don't worry on that. Uh, we will be giving to such people as well. Just in case there were duplicates, then, uh, okay, okay, wait. Aditya says, okay, that is also one confusion. Okay, in the blog, you have written it as 10. Aditya, uh, if you know that the number of uh, investors in Geo kept on changing and uh, what we have done is... Uh, Uh, one minute, one minute. Let me just check. Yes, the blog date is much before. So, don't worry. Uh, so, yes, correct. The blog is, I guess, of the almost last month. So, that keeps on changing. Number of investors will obviously keep on changing, right? So, don't worry on that. So, the latest number of investors was 13, okay? So, with that, let's move on to the next winner. So, I'll pick up another name and I'll say start. Let's see how it goes. Let's see who is the next winner. It's DWIJB. Congratulations, DWIJ. I will paste the name. So let me just type it here as well. Let's go on to the next one, guys. Few more remaining. I hope you are excited. All the best. Let's see who gets the correct answer. Who gets chosen? It's Kirthana K. Congratulations, Kirthana. You have won the mutual fund course giveaway. Congratulations. How many of you have already won? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 people already have been chosen. Last two for the free course giveaway. So let's see who is picked up from the random number picker. And the correct answer is MD 
Faisuddin. Congratulations, MD Faisuddin. You have been chosen for the free mutual fund course. I'm sure you will take uh, absolute advantage of this. Okay. So, perfect. Right, right, right. So, nine done. Okay. Let's start with the last one. Excited? Let's let's start with the na last one. I'll pick up another name. And the correct answer is Kshitij Patel. Heartiest congratulations, Kshitij. You have won the mutual fund course giveaway. So, heartiest congratulations to all the winners. Uh, I'm very happy for all. Uh, again, let me clarify one or two things. Number one, those who, let's say there are two Divya Patels or two Kshiti Patels, we will uh, give the giveaway to both. Okay. For those who have answered four, okay, we will try to rerun this. Okay. And I promise that there'll be five more giveaways. I'm promising here, right here, right now, that five more giveaways for those only because those who were those who have given a correct answer let us say four and they were not in this list so i'll have five more giveaways okay so don't worry about the five more giveaways so all these people will be contacted by my team and uh, we will be giving you uh, the next giveaway uh, ka exact date time when we will be uh, giving these uh, giveaways to all these people well i tried to be as transparent as i could be okay so Congratulations, heartiest congratulations for those who came out as the winners. And uh, let's see, bus people are saying, why not 10? Are, I'm, I'm giving 5. Uh, because see, uh, there could be, uh, yes, 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 yes. Now people are saying, okay, okay, agreed, agreed. Perfect, perfect. Right? So those who were not able to win this, uh, don't worry guys. This is the website, rachanaranade.com. You can also visit the website and you can check this uh, on my website. That first lecture right now is free of cost. You can definitely enroll for this lecture and you can definitely watch the lecture and see how how you uh, like it or not. Uh, I'm sure you'll have a lot of value addition through this. Okay. And do let me know about any other suggestions that you have about our channel as well. Okay. So uh, let us move on. Uh, I'll... Oh my God, it's almost 9, 10. Right, right, perfect. Great, great, great. Uh, it's okay, people are saying only 5 correct. No, don't worry, don't worry. Even if you got only 5 correct, it's it's a good thing for you that you, uh, with this, you'll get a reality check that we need to uh, be more well-read. It's okay. Uh, this, this was maybe the first time that you tried it out. People are saying, I got only 5 out of 10 correct, but good, that means you didn't do a lot of cheating, huh? Right, so uh, let's see. Uh, don't worry on that. So, kya baat hai? Dip says congratulations to all the winners, and uh, well done is what Dip says. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot, Dips, for the super chat, and that's I guess a pretty encouraging word for all those who won the quiz. Right? Uh, I won't take a lot of super chats. It's all almost nine ten. Okay, so let's move on quickly with the super chats. Rajesh, thank you for the super chat, but no message from you. Shri Vignesh says, where do you see Reliance after a year? Kilpest, your views. Okay. Uh, Reliance, I feel, is if they come with... Uh, see, they have a lot of dreams with them right now. They have, they have a lot of uh, thought process with them. If they are able to convert the dreams into reality, then I feel not one year, but over a period of three to five years, this will have a lot of potential so i feel that it, it's all about how they are able to convert their dream into reality if that happens then definitely reliance can go places from here as well uh not sure about within a one within one year or not but yes uh it will surely give good returns in the coming years right uh sudarshan v says uh views on hdfc bank aditya puri exit to hdfc and sold the shares impacted market now is this a great opportunity to invest at thousand rupees or stay away uh, fundamentally, it's a very good company, HDFC Bank. Uh, if you have seen, today market crashed a lot. Okay, uh, Nifty was down by more than 150 points. 
so if you feel uh, i mean if you believe in technical analysis i feel uh, it should be a little bit of uh, wait and watch thing okay uh, why wait and watch thing i'll tell you uh, if the market breaches okay if the market breaches uh, the 200 days moving average then we will have to check it out uh, market breaching 200 dma means there would be a slide down further so uh, even if you want to invest sudarshan in hdfc bank a uh, bank is good uh, you can start investing in uh, uh, i mean you can start investing little bit not much though okay number 1 number 2 uh, there is a news that many banks uh, might report more and more nps in the coming quarters okay so even if you are going to invest go slow in banking and financial institutions don't rush in and invest a lot of money at a time okay shriya raval thanks for the super chat no question though okay uh, dips i took your question uh, i mean thanks for encouraging everyone uh, prashant patel says uh, can i invest in irctc second lot and i have already gotten it in ipo irctc again i have mentioned fundamentally a good company yes uh, first lot i guess we had the 15th slot first if you have invested at a very high level and uh, if you uh, if you believe that it is down by 10 to 12% then maybe you can given your second lot as well okay great uh, so that's it for you prashant saurabh says wrong answer 10 winners correct answer 5 winners why i agree so saurabh uh, but also give it a thought that 9 out of 10 for that was correct plus strategic and uh, i agree with the see why i gave 13 also as correct is that uh, these were investors as well okay so people there might be many people who might not get the finer aspect of that strategic versus investors number 1 number 2 for that i have also given sun pharma sun pharma limited all have given correct answers and chill guys it's a quiz okay it's it's just a quiz i don't know people uh, you bahut dil pe le rahe ho uh, it's your your uh, i mean i'm getting chats as if uh, something very big has happened uh, take it easy uh, because the word strategic uh, there could have been two answers i agree to that as well but just because people should not feel bad uh, i have already announced that yes i'll be giving five more giveaways from my side which i had not promised earlier as well but take it easy uh, don't don't be so much uh, emotionally down sort of okay but i have already mentioned that five more people will be given as giveaways right uh, anyways okay uh, suven pharma and kpit technologies uh, long term view none of them have tracked neither suven pharma nor kpig uh, kpit c kpitc technologies uh no none none till now but don't worry uh, about technology sector we are going to come up okay uh, with a video i'll not i'll not say a lot about that but yes we are coming up with a video on one more it uh, sector company right uh, ma'am top two st- uh, series question mark also ujivan was great uh, we have so many uh, videos lined up uh, top to see series was a one which was loved by all uh, so uh, let's see if if time permits we will come up with the top to series again right ma'am why is it a shooting star and not a spinning top uh, oh my god that's a big explanation uh, i will try to consider this as a video shreya uh, because you know to explain a candle i need to draw something okay uh, okay so drawing i don't have any drawing thing right now so we will try to make a separate video on that shooting star versus spinning top that will give you a clear idea about what is the difference between these two okay uh, okay paras patel says madam now please send your suggestions on star stocks okay uh, we will we will consider that as well and we will be coming up with more and more videos uh, saurabh thank you for the super chat no question asked okay views on jk paper sell or hold jk paper i have given as a long term one uh, with at least a one year time frame uh, so if you are of the same time frame view one year time frame view then you can definitely hold on to that okay um yes i guess that's it uh, we are at 9:15 um, i've i'm not yet done with my dinner okay so had a long day uh, with my family members as well right so i guess that's it from my side uh, guys don't forget to watch uh, the telegram channel and on the telegram channel number 1 we are going to paste all the q and a regarding the uh, it sector so you will get all the answers 
with you. You can read it at your own pace as well. Okay. So definitely check out the Telegram channel. Uh, guys, stop the super chats, please. I I have to wrap it up at nine fifteen. Uh, okay. Dip says hello, Rachna. Since markets is in a slightly correction mode, I want to know the differentiate between buy on dip and not catching a falling knife while buying a share which is heading downwards. Okay. Uh, buy on every dip is correct. A uh, dips. Your name is also dip and buy on every dips. Okay. Okay. Bad joke. Okay. So never catch. These are two contradictory things. Guys, please stop the super chats. Uh, Else, what I can do is I'll actually take a screenshot. Wait, that's a very good idea. I got this idea. I'll take a screenshot of this, and I will hundred and one percent. I'll answer these super chats in my next live stream. I promise that. Okay, it's it's a word from my side. In the next live stream, uh, Harini, Sheetal, Pratish, all your questions will be answered. I think I'll just answer Dips' uh, question as the last question, and I'll, I'll stop for the day. I have taken a screenshot, so it's my word. I will be answering your questions in the next live stream. Okay. Uh, See, buy on every dip means what? Uh, that's like an that's like a strategy which fundamental analysts believe in. That if the stock is very good fundamentally, you keep on accumulating it at lower and lower and lower levels. Buy on every dips is a strategy used by fundamental analysts. If you are talking about technical analysts, they are more of a, of a view that never ca catch a falling knife. Okay, so uh, I believe that uh, never catch a falling knife is absolutely correct. <clears throat> if it's a fundamentally good company then you can wait for a bigger correction okay don't buy more and more because it's a small dip 2% drop it's a dip buy on every dip again 2% correction buy on it don't do that see that the trend is reversing a little bit or not anyways that's also a dip okay so if you see that there's a clear cut downtrend i believe that buy on every dip should not be a strategy in that case if it's a clear cut downtrend okay so again i'll quickly wrap it up for you dips to Beliefs to different school of thoughts. I may say, fundamental analysts say that you should buy on every dip, and technical analysts say that never catch a falling knife. These are two different school of thoughts. How can we mix these two? Okay, we can mix these two by mentioning that okay, you may buy on the dip, but don't buy on minor dips. Let that be a big correction. Let you see some reversal, and then you can jump onto it. Okay, so I hope you have answer. Uh, you have understood uh, everything. What uh, what you had asked in this question dips about catching never catching a falling knife versus buying on dips okay other uh, super chats will be answered in the next live stream uh, till then everyone take care and you will see uh, the answers on it stocks on my telegram channel as i mentioned five more giveaways yes i promise i'll give it to you it's it's my promise will never be broken but otherwise also a small suggestion from my side uh, don't be so much emotional on this okay right so That's it from my side guys till then take care jai hind and bye bye